Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. Markets are still holding up above the key line. They may not be going in any major direction, but as long as the indexes are staying above the key line, it tells us there's no big bailing out of the market, that it's still in a very slow uptrend. We saw that on Friday where the Dow actually closed below the key line, but today came back up strong again. So you can see the direction pretty much nowhere. And the NASDAQ has been a little bit more positive in the sense that it hasn't been able to get back below the T-line at all. This uptrend remains in progress, which has been helping out as far as a candlestick investor being able to find the best trade setups. We uh, saw the fry pan bottom setting up in blink. First of all, that does two things for us. It tells us where the money's going to, and two, allows us to go research why the money is going to that area. So Blink being one of the electric car charging stations puts us in a situation where the candlestick signals allow us to be in the right uh, situations at the right time because the patterns are usually high probability result expectations. We can see what's happened to Blink over the past week or two. Today, it was up 48%. Now we're in the danger zone because look how far away we've moved from the T line. However, we haven't seen a sell signal um, yet. And it's actually trading up even another $3 after hours. This is nothing more to say than that uh, candlestick scanning techniques allow us not only to be in the right direction at the right time, but have a much greater probability of being in big, huge price moves because it's putting us in the right situations at the right time. So fry pan bottoms are working, as we can see in GameStop. Notice how it's supported right in here, bounced off the 50, supported on the T line, supported on the 34. And today it did a bullish doji sandwich. So if you add this all together, we know what to expect after a doji sandwich, more upside, which further confirms our fry pan bottom. We can see that in Sun West, fry pan bottom, breakout, right about at the breakout area. And we recommended Kirkland Furniture back here when it broke out of this kind of downtrending uh, resistance level after bouncing off the 50 day moving average a couple of times, morning star signal bullish Harami, now a doji gap up through the resistance level, further setting up this fry pan bottom. Notice what it did today. It gapped up going out into new territory. What's our expectation coming out of a fry pan bottom? A very strong price move. We've also got other strong patterns showing that the oil and gas sector is working very well. You can see on EOG how it did kind of a bobble breakout using the T-line as support, indicating there's probably a lot more upside. The biotechs are also working. This is what we call convergence analysis. We know there's great expectations based upon candlestick signals and patterns. What do we expect coming out of a fry pan bottom? A strong price move. Notice how this fry pan bottom in uh, Monera Supported right here on the 50, came back up above the T line, broke out. Now look at it. It pulled back after a hanging man in the overbought condition, came back to the T line area, did a bullish Harami, told us the selling has stopped. And now we have a doji sitting right here, making this convergence analysis, identifying a fry pan bottom, a strong price move, when to take profits, and when a J hook pattern was setting back up. And now, if you didn't buy here with the expectation of seeing what it did at this level, we know the doji rule. If this opens positive tomorrow, it's gonna to trade positive, which tells us our classic pattern, J hook pattern, fry pan bottom followed by a J hook pattern is in progress. This is nothing more than analyzing what normally happens in human nature. We don't have to know the details of uh, the fundamentals of a company. All we have to do is see what investor expectations are from their research of what was happening in a, a price move. 
So as long as the Dow and the NASDAQ stay above the T-line, even if it's flat trading, we have the benefit of scanning to see which sectors are going to be acting the strongest and obviously being able to put ourselves into positions that have the best upside potential. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.